Hi students, today we will continue to discuss on shift key. Below you can see the picture of shift key. So last time we discussed the functions of shift key. We have two functions for shift key. First, to type symbols in our document. If I want to type symbols in my document, therefore I must use shift key. One finger I press on shift key and my other finger on the key where the symbol is found. But now we will discuss another function of shift key. The other function is to type uppercase letters, to type letters in capital letter. I know you will tell me that we can use caps lock key to enter capital letters. But in this case, if you have only one uppercase letter to type, you can use your shift key. Let's go through an example so as you can understand it better. When I press shift key, I want to, to type Monday. All the letters will be uppercase unless I press caps lock again to type lowercase alphabet. But in the case of shift key, if I want to type Monday, with only letter M. Letter M will be uppercase. Therefore, I press shift key. I continue to hold it. And then I press letter M. I get an uppercase letter. Then I release it and type Monday. The shift key will facilitate you to type your document in case you have single uppercase letters to type. Let's work this activity together. I will press first key for letter A. Then I will press shift key, I will hold it, and then press A. Let's look at the difference. I press only key A, I obtain lowercase A. If I press shift key, I hold it and then press key A. I will obtain A in upper case. Therefore, we will write our answer. When I press A, I will obtain lowercase shift and a I will obtain uppercase let's try with B and letter O and then we will write the all the answers B. When I press B, I obtain 
let it be in lower case I press shift key I hold it and then press B I obtain uppercase now let it O I press O I obtain it in lower case I press shift I hold it and press letter O I will obtain in uppercase Therefore, we will write the answer. I press B. I obtain letter B in lowercase. I press hold shift and press B. I obtain letter B in uppercase. I press key O, I obtain it in lowercase. When I press shift key and O, I will obtain it in uppercase. Now you will open your Microsoft Word and type this text for me. In this, you will obtain symbols and uppercase letters. For uppercase letters and the symbols, you will use shift key. Like for the word it, I is in uppercase. You will press shift key, hold it and then press letter I. Same for Monday. The letter M is in upper case. For Chicky, the letter C is in upper case. Therefore, you will press and hold Shift key and then you will press the letter. And it, for the symbols, you have exclamation mark, apostrophe, double quote. To enter those symbols, again you must press shift key and then press the key where the symbol is found. The exclamation mark is found on key number one. Therefore, you press shift key, you hold it, and then you press number 1. Let's do it together. Let's do the exercise together. Bef before typing, we will read it. It is Monday morning. Chicky Chick is sleeping. Wake up, Chicky Chick. It's time for school, says Mother Hen. Let's type it together. I will open my Microsoft Word. And I will type it below this. It is... We will... Type I using shift key. I is in upper case. Therefore, I press shift key. I hold it and then I press on I. Then I release the shift key. It is M is in upper case. Same. I press shift key. I hold it. And then I press on M. Chicky. Chicky is C. Uppercase. Hold shift key. And press letter C. Here again. Press shift key. And hold it.
here you will press your shift key and the key where double quote symbol is found here again to press to type w in uppercase you click on shift key you hold it and then you press letter w Make a shiki shik exclamation mark. It's time for school exclamation mark. Close double quote. Says mother hen. Now you have completed the exercise. Your sentence will be like this. I hope you have understood the aim of shift key. It's to type symbol. We use it to type in symbols. And we can also use it to enter uppercase letters. Thanks for your attention.